Thus far, we've developed great techniques for modeling linear relationships in data. Algorithms like gradient descent automate the process of finding the best parameters for a linear model. But what about modeling nonlinear relationships between features and the label? We've learned how to construct synthetic features, like feature crosses, to represent nonlinearities. But finding the right crosses is a manual process, which can require a lot of experimentation. Wouldn't it be great if our model could figure out these feature crosses for us during training? Incredibly, it can! Let's take a closer look at how. In our standard linear model, we take the value of each input node, multiply it by a weight, sum up the results, and add the bias value to get our result. We can think of this as a single combination of our inputs to produce the model output. What if we added another layer to our model that recombined our inputs? This would increase the number of parameters in our model, allowing us to learn more about the interaction between features. This structure is called a neural network, and that additional layer is called a hidden layer. Could this architecture help us learn nonlinearities? Unfortunately, looks like we still have a linear model, just a more complex one. How do we learn nonlinearities then? Is there another kind of calculation that can come to our rescue? Neural networks solve this problem by introducing an additional calculation step when combining inputs, called an activation function. For example, after calculating the output of each neural network layer, we can apply an activation function that transforms the output as follows. If the value is negative, return zero. Otherwise, return the original value. This simple function is called a rectified linear unit, or ReLU. Because this function has a nonlinear shape, inserting it into our neural network allows our model to represent nonlinear relationships. If we apply this activation function before outputting the final value for each node in our network, our model can automatically learn the correct nonlinear relationship between features and the label during training. With enough layers, nodes, and activations in our neural network, we can approximate any function, including feature crosses.